sure that the cards uh, are doing me very, very well, just in case I have more shit to do. So this might be the final episode, depending if I make this the final episode, but I thought I'll make it. Um, but I'm still up against a uh, big fucker. Oh, I, I, you don't need to tell me twice. Oh, cheap. We all oh, fuck you. Um, sorry for the amount of rage. I just don't like this guy. I, I hate him. I hate him. Really? He does this to me every fucking day. It hurts my feels. It does. He just loves to fuck me, likes to fuck me. He doesn't want to care about any of my little, my little warriors. He just loves to fucking fuck me. See what I mean? I can't do anything. I can't. He, he is a big, nasty piece of shit. I hate him. Wait, you know what? You know what? Fucking take this. Come here, mate. If you fucking fool you, I swear to God, you fool any of you. Big fucking ball sacking shit. I. Fuck you. Oh, here's the body flop. Alright, wait, where's my trial? I hate, I hate this even boss. Great fucking new elites. Just a fucking Oh my god, you have persistent. Thank you. Oh. Come on, get me. Come on. It's not doing anything. I have no other weapons, I have jack shit. Jesus. Consistent butt fucking right now. Because I can't even get a fucking near him. And he falls his shit at me. How nice is that? He just he just picks it out from his ass, dumps it, and then he just rolls it up like a big giant snowball in and certainly a butt fuck. But I'm not giving up. Because I, I can't even get a chance to scan them because that's what you thought. Yeah. So, I'm going to be one of the fucking options at this point. I am one of the fucking options. Right, you know what? Go change your weapons. I am fucking done with a sack of crap. I am. Um, well, I'm going. Oh, fuck. Actually, if I unclip them, I'm not going to use that because that's not going to do damage to him. No chance. We're just going to have put him to death. That's all we're going to do. Because I have basically. I'm 
sick of Kyle fucking having him chasing me like a little fucking baby and putting my fucking And the tower? Jesus Christ! You fucking use it! Don't you dare even me. I'm dealing with your big fucking pain in the ass. Whatever, whatever you like, computer. Where's the other fucking power? No witness. Fuck off. You can fucking die in this tower. You're gonna be on my fucking set. You're gonna be my fucking bitch.
things went fucking big. Another fucking enemy I hated in Batman. But he's tough, he's worse. Here we go. Here we go. I knew I felt that right up my ass. Do, 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 do. Right, they don't work. So, meah. So I'm basically out of everything. Basically, I'm out of fucking ideas. I could use that. But knowing the fact that it may not work, so hmm, probably. Hmm. Actually, I'm using this. Yeah. Why not? I just all I need to do is cut more of those and fucking heal. Because Jesus Christ. He is powerful. He is one of my top number one fucking hates for bosses in this game. I'm getting annoyed super easily because he's persistent. You fucking feet fucking Wait, no, stay fucking still. Let me top, let me go on top of this fucker. Yeah, yeah, shuck it, shuck it. You overgoing fuck. Sorry, that's just the old me. I'm getting so very angry when this thing gets in my nerves a lot. Get you bitch. No. Time to kill this big fucking thing. that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Our 
Artak! Artak! Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Jesus. Oh, fuck off. Not me too. Can you just make a cutscene? I'm done. Wow, okay. That, that was fast. It's the only way. That was great. Uh, that was... Thank you, Jim. You, you answered my, my prayer. Thank you. But I can't believe we I'm glad. I swear to god, if my main character fucking dies in this, I am gonna be really mad. But after all the shit has been put through. Please tell me I don't need to do a single thing. I swear to God. I need explosive ammo. A bomb, quick! I don't hear any neck breaking from any of them because I've already lost one, one good ally, and she's dead and she's been melt, been crushed. You two better not fucking be dead or I'll be pissed. You stupid motherfuckers. But, oh god, wait, good. You're alive. What about him? What about Tubby? Please tell me be alive. He's been a good he's been a good chieftain until I came to you. Come on. Oh good, good. Oh well Ray is gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the Auxiliary Center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the Shaman's Path. <sighs> then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Okay. Is that it? I, I take it we're done. Are we done? Oh, we got m bit more play gameplay. Of course. Oh, fucking course. I'm, I swear to God, if there's any more fucking robots, 
I'll be mad. I don't want to fight anymore. Seriously, I really do not want to fight anymore. Fucking bullet. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna fast travel. I'm not fucking taking all this high and mighty moment and fucking. No. I'm done. No, I'm not fighting. Alright, we're gonna just power through and find out what is the end for Larry. You know? That's my main goal. May become laziness, but boy, I can fucking take the laziness. Oh, I bet I need to check the last episode, and I need to check the last episode and uh, check how many times I wasted out. Well, the uh, same fuck, because. Oh. It feels like I was just going into madness but when I was fighting that big fat thing. And I hate it bosses that it just loves consistently chasing you. It doesn't give you a breath, a wee bit, a wee break. So we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, alright, alright. We got to the bond. We got we got to the fire. The only problem is, this game can actually take. I can take so much in this game. I can go fury fucking angry. I can get really angry way off the bat. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you Aww. see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like, our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Right. Before, wait, hang on, before I talk to you, right, before the whole, before I end this, I need to see my, my, my friend, I need to see my, my, pop, my, my wee tubby tubby. Alright, I know I'm doing, I know I'm going the wrong fucking way. And, I feel sorry for this guy, right, I do, he's just lost his sister. So I'm going to talk to him. I know I was giving him shit about being, like, being asked to him, but come on. <sighs> My chieftain. Just, Aloy. That if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost either way i would not have been able to protect her mm. 
I'm gonna be nice. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone. But there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Fucking hell, I forgot about them. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically the nuke. Time to talk to Cyan. Should be interesting. Great. Great. Fucking more of them to get stinked up the ass by these things, these fire breathing bitches. Oh, I'll save him for the last. I'm, I'm gonna save him for the last. So, what I'm gonna do is just for you guys, <clears throat> before we talk to her, before, just for you guys, I'm gonna do every side world quest. However, for the final episode for this game will be these fire fire things. And now I have the right weapon for that. To freeze these sons of bitches. I am going to kill them all. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Oh. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aureas, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even my colleagues. <coughs> Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. Oh, precise, come on! It was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Are you fucking kidding me? This firebreak project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite mm, the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. You 
meant a lot to Horea. Once I under... She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. Right. Now we got a lot of we got a lot of shit we need to talk. So we're gonna talk about her Aak Artak or whatever you want. Doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate <coughs> it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis. A process I am eager to experience. Oh, what, you into him already? Man, that must be really fucked up if you're planning to fall in love with that fucking guy. Jesus Christ. Back. Mate, next. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most God, important uh, directives. Now you know the AI is upset. Is terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. Hmm. <coughs> I think I know one. where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. That's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and mm. sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Okay, so that's good. Uh, oh god, there's a lot of shit in this. Do you know what happened to your colleague, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. Mm. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Thank you. Why does Hephaestus keep building such <coughs> dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? 
Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, mm. Fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. But what are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Okay. I ran across this strange piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive oh, or this. aggressive I, that's what I want, would no. certainly have been part of her programming. <coughs> it would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. Hmm. Okay. Uh, metal flowers. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. Hmm. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. That's nice. How are you For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hmm. hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI mm. that makes flowers instead of death machines. It'll be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. Answers. Oh. Uh, okay, so we spoke to all of them. We got two more, and then after that... So are you an artificial intelligence? <sighs> Hopefully. Thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Hmm. Hey, a lot of questions. Um. Oh yeah, I oh. Actually, I'm gonna ask her uh, what's it like. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. Hmm. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. Hmm. The recovery was successful, 
beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Hmm. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. Okay. What oh, that kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? <coughs> there were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause. Catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So, there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perish, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. Okay. Clawback? So things got better. For a little while at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. Oh. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. Hey. Uh, got three more. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines, robots, war robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <laughs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And Elizabeth Sobeck. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobeck was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. I'm not, I'm not. I'm, I'm just glad you, you only taught me a few things, so Were I'm happy. Are many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you. Yes, in many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations, to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough oh to God, handle my duties, no my devil. creators found it necessary so to I'm just those limits. There's a lot of fucking As information result, in this game. intellectual and on emotional this one. capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Alright. And finally, so in the, old the world, Yellowstone. This land was called Yellowstone. Yes. It was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Right. Uh, okay. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. Hmm. Right. Okay. There's a ruin east of here. Yes. A Sorry, I just get one part. Requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, 
the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats. Though there were no serious incidents, Dirt Chief Blevin spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Okay. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. Hmm. Life is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. Right. No. That's it done. And that was a fucking side quest. Take. Take. Right, we just open up all this. Right, that's good. Right. <clears throat> no. We have 31 of those. Apparently, we found shoes. No, 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 that's the quest item. Right. No. And we also did one of those as well. And now we can. Now we can overdrive those guys. Fuck. It would seem your time among the Banuk was to waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds of their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life, transformed from dozen subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. <clears throat> our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter-killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the Cut Silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. Wait. So after that nightmare, um, yeah, I've apparently that's it. I didn't know that was a side mesh. I didn't even know that was a side quest. I thought it was going to be one of those um, main missions, right? And I didn't know that. So, and again, we have a main one that we need to go back. And, well, we need to find these uh, hunters, but again, we can do a lot of them. Uh, also, we need to kill five of those. We need to find, well, we need to find her. And we want to, and also, since we got her, 
got the marble for that, but we need to go and meet her to meet up with Stormburn. So we've got a lot of things to do. I'm not doing that one, fuck that. Uh, no, fuck that. Uh, let's see. Find and... Okay, so where's that in the map? Okay, so we have a lot of objectives we need to do. And this one is definitely the most of butt fucking. I am not doing that. Because that's where they are and I'm not even thinking about doing them. So I'm just going to end this uh, little mission here. Um, again, I love the game. Daybreak. Yesterday's gone. Bit of a pain in the ass. I will give it that. By her uh, movement when I tell her to jump down she would just automatically climb up but again that's fine but um, <clears throat> it was quite good I enjoyed the game I'll give this map this a new add-on map this add-on level 9 out of 10 so far it's pretty good I love the game uh, the only thing is that it's some of the monsters it's the machines you are very persistent and now I know it was the I, I was been using the whole time I've been using the god the anything that's got explosives to make fire bombs and I didn't even know that I've been too busy using them or them or anything like that and holy shit I made a terrible mistake now I know that's their weakness, so I'm going to be doing a lot of fucking hunting. I will be recording all the side quests as much as I can. Uh, again, I'm just going to leave it here for tonight because right now I've been playing this. And I've also, if you're wondering when I started kill, when I was killing that uh, snap jaw thing when I met that guy in the dam. I was recording it today, so you, if you saw the, the video before then, that was a yes, it's video, but I thought I'd put up again, I thought I'd record it and you know, up with it here. But again, <clears throat> good game. I hope they make more of them, more wee maps, because I'm interested and I want to know where I can find uh, Salice or whatever is that guy's name who was talking to me in the communicator. I want to find, I want to actually find out if he's actually a good guy or a bad guy because I don't trust him I want to eliminate him but that's my point of view but again thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this a horror action part funny me raging a lot and uh, yeah so again we like we a comment subscribe and I'll see you all in the, ne the next four or five episodes of a license you done the side quest for frozen for frozen worlds bye guys